All right, so I've uh, put the same setup that I had under the Magnum onto the Challenger, and that gives me a uh, artificial surface plane, so to speak. And I use the string again underneath the front bar, just barely touching it, in order to uh, establish a height. When I swung it out side to side and I've marked these off from the bottom of this hole to the string was 15 and an eighth on both sides. Uh, the adjusters worked pretty good. Ran out of adjustment just as I got it to the number. So I didn't have to put anything extra under. I had to boost this one up just a tick. It was about a sixteenth low, so I just give it one pump with this jack and give it that little boost in order to get it up to the height that it was supposed to be. And uh, You can see I got this hole on the very top, the inner and the outer piece are aligned. The same thing across the way over there, I don't know if you can see that, I'll go back over there. And this is the, uh, the other hole over here, lines up. So what I did was I welded in the plates. Now I just have to uh, finish welding up this side of the plate and then run a bead down the center and grind the whole thing off clean. I took some self-tapping um, screws uh, and um, drew it in against the bulkhead here where the, um, where the spot welds have to go, draw the steel up tight. That's the frame rail, the upper part of the frame rail. Also down here on this side here, it's got a little bit of a gap. And I'll just tap that with a hammer as I I'll weld that back together. See on this side, the same deal. Got that drawn up over here. Um, same thing over here. I have my spot welds that I drilled out for rosetting the plates together and then I'll just weld a bead down there and around the bottom and so forth and this is where I'll put these spot welds back together uh, but yeah, you can see that but it's kind of hard to see right there everything's kind of lined up pretty good here kick this a couple times there we go right there One bob. If I move side to side, it looks better. How about that? <laughs> Anyways, so it's up and ready to be welded. I think that's where I'm going to quit for tonight. Uh, the gaps in the sheet metal over here a little bit bigger than I'd like them to be, so I'm going to trick that up somehow. It's about an eighth of an inch at the top. It gets tighter at the bottom, but it's kind of a blessing in disguise over here. It's a little tighter. At least it didn't interfere, and I didn't have to keep taking it on and off to refit it. The most important thing are the frame rails. Obviously this tin work will all lock in soon enough. A couple of spot welds and it'll be uh, pretty rigid. So that's where I am on this deal.